everyone. I am Dr. Trusum, and today we're going to be talking about the image of God. During this discussion I will pause briefly to ask any of you do you have any questions. However, until I do ask please remain silent and seated. Thank you. I'm super excited to find out where I come from. I will be discussing Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 where it says, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Here, we see God talking about the creation of man and woman. Same man and woman created in the image of God. Now, the definition of the word image is, a visual representation of something. In this case the something is God. So we are a visual representation of God. In other words we are what God looks like. Excuse me Dr. Trusum, will we receive a grade for this? Of course Vivian. Also you will find out who you are as well. Now, knowing what the word image means, let's try to understand what God means when he said let us make man in our image, after our likeness. We can conclude that the offspring of God will resemble him in a physical form because we are physical beings. If this is true, his offspring will have a dominant genetic trait and characteristic, because he is all-powerful and all-dominant. When looking at the science of genetics in human, we can clearly see that those that have melanin are more dominant than those that lack melanin. Are there any questions so far? Yes, Dr. Trusum. How can melanin prove that it's dominant? Good question Scott. Well, science shows that, when a melanated person has sexual intercourse with a non-melanated person, 99.9% .9 of the time, the offspring will be melanated. It is very very rare that the offspring of a melanated person will lack melanin, unless the offspring is albino or has some other type of birth defect. So, God's image, which would be a dominant image, would be the image that has melanin. Because melanin is a dominant genetic trait. So, everyone that has melanin is in the image of God. I end this class for now. Our next lesson will be on, the image of those that lack melanin. Until then, those of you who have melanin, you are blessed and highly favored. Because after all, you are in the very image of God. See y'all next week. Thank you Dr. Trusum. This was very good information. Now when I read this I can get a better understanding. Also it will help me understand much much more in the Bible. Thank you so much.